my very most beautiful Aquarius. How are you guys? I hope everyone is doing amazing. So my loves, we are going to be doing your November bonus reading. This reading is going to be um, who's coming towards you. So any energies or loves that could be coming towards you, we're going to take a look at what comes up for you. So it is a general reading. It will not be able to resonate for all of you out there. So if you want something that is meant for your exact energy, I do have personals open. Now, everything that you guys need to know about this reading or about scheduling your personals, all of that will be in the description box below for you. So, Archangels, Spirit Guides, and Ancestors, please deliver clear messages with a very clear understanding for my most beautiful Aquarius. May the messages that need to be heard the very most please come through. And may they please find those who need to hear it. Please show me Aquarius's energy. A very clear message with a very clear understanding. All right, my loves, let's take a look and see what is going on for you. So far out of the readings I've done for this series today, um, only one of them has had a new person. A lot of past energy coming back. Um, we got the Hermit in the reverse and the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. Somebody does not want to be single anymore. They do not want to be without you anymore. Um, I do feel like this is somebody that you guys have been in separation with. Somebody, you know, that you guys have been in Hermit mode with. But they want to come out of this. They, It's almost like, I'm getting like they thought the grass was going to be greener on the other side. Um, but a single life is not suiting them the way that it, they thought that it would. They got the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, this is definitely past energy. Okay, so this is definitely somebody wanting to come back towards you. They do not like the way that things are between the two of you right now. Um, they want things to move forward. The tower in the reverse. They are not ready to accept. Um, they're not ready to be on their own. They're not ready to accept that this is over. The empress. They want to grow. They're still very attracted to you. Okay, they're still very, very attracted to you. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Libra. We also have Scorpio here and Virgo as well. Okay, but it does not have to be any of those signs. They could just have some of that in their chart, okay? But I do feel like they're still very attracted to you. They very much so want to grow with you. Um, I feel like the single life is not suiting them. They they want they want to reconnect. Um, the bottom of the deck, you know, they're ready to leave the single life behind. They got the two of wands ready to leave the single life behind and commit. Okay, they miss you here. Wow. Yeah, they miss you. They miss you a lot. They're ready to leave the single life behind. They're ready to finally commit. Maybe before this person had a hard time committing. Maybe they had a hard time, you know, really thinking of something long-term and permanent. But that's if that's the case, that's changed now. Okay, that's all changed. Tell me about this hermit in reverse. What is this hermit in the reverse? Got the devil card. They feel very, very attached to you still. Very, very connected to you still. Okay, even in absence, it's like they haven't been able to let go. They still feel very, I'm drawn to how bound, they're like bound together. Okay, they still feel very bound to you. I do feel like they're a little bit obsessing over this as well at this time. Because um, they're just, they're not ready to accept it with the tower being over, with the tower being in reverse. The three of wands in the reverse. But they've been keeping that to themselves for, for so there's something here that's been holding back, something that they've been keeping to themselves. Um, I feel like you don't know how um, how they've really been feeling. Tell me about this Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. Why is the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse here? The King of Swords. So they really had to figure something out here. Um, I'm really drawn to the butterfly at the top. I almost never noticed that, but there's butterflies at the top of his chair and it does represent transformation. Okay, um, so I do feel like this person had to, it's almost like they had to be separate so that they could, you know, get this clarity so they could gain this, um, this transformation of their desires or this transformation of what they see for themselves moving forward, what they want for their future, what they're ready for. Um, it's almost like they had to like, um, you know, the king of swords, he's also like, he's very wise, he's older, he's an expert. Um, I do feel like that's something that this person did. They had to level up within themselves. They had to grow up. Okay, that was my nicer. My, They had to grow up. Okay, they did. Tell me about this Wheel of Fortune energy. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? The Chariot. Yeah, they're ready to move things forward. They want to see where this can go. They, they're ready for this now. I feel like in the past that they were not ready, but they're ready now. The hair font, they are ready to commit. Some of you guys are even ready for marriage, okay? They are, they're ready to grow. They want to expand. I feel like this person had a hard time with commitment before, but they had to grow up. 
And I feel like in this time that you guys have been apart, they did. They gained some wisdom. They really gained some clarity about what they want. This person has really grown up a lot. They have not been able to let you go. And they're ready to come back now. They're ready to move forward. They're ready for something very serious. Some of you guys, they could be ready for marriage. The Empress and the King of Cups. You're their everything. They have so much love for you. Okay, and it's almost like they can't they can't believe that they didn't see it before. They can't believe that they would let this go. Tell me about this tower in the reverse. The Seven of Swords. So some of them could have been self-sabotaging energy, okay? They, they're having a hard time accepting this because that would mean that it's really over. Some of them have to really take responsibility for their part in it, what they did to bring this tower down in the first place. Tell me about this Empress energy. Tell me about this Empress energy. What is this Empress energy here for? Ten of Swords. So it... They, want to, they don't want things to be over between the two of you. Some of you, they know that they hurt you. This is not going to be for everybody, but for the ones of you that, you know, this person hurt or betrayed you in some way, um, they're hoping and praying that you guys can grow out of that um, because they still really want this. They see you as their everything. We're going to grab some additional messages here. Wow. This person has really grown up. I mean... They had to learn this lesson the hard way, and I, I feel like it caused you a lot of pain in the process. But this person is coming back, and they're not they are not messing around. They're not messing around this time. They're ready. We both know I'm not the one for you. I lost myself for a little while. And I love you. That's your energy here, okay? I feel like there's something about whatever this person has done or this person not being mature and stuff and you put up with things that you didn't want to put up with or put up with things that you know that you shouldn't have or that you didn't deserve to put up with. That's what this energy feels like to me. Um, but you still love this person all, none, you know, regardless of any of it. You love them, so you did put up with things that you shouldn't have. You did, um, you know, like I feel like lowered your boundaries, lowered your guard. Um, you did settle, okay, for the way that this person was treating you because they weren't ready. I don't react when people mention you. Yeah, so I feel like you've been trying really hard to move forward from this. Let's see what their energy is towards you. What they have to say to you. I can't stop thinking about you. I remember every detail of that day. So this person definitely thinks back about the things that they did or the things that was said, the things that led to you guys' breakup. Um, they, they really spend a lot of time just thinking and reminiscing over that. I feel you even though we are apart. That's what I was talking about, that devil energy. Yeah, they, they still feel you. They can't stop thinking about it. They go over everything. You know, they, they this was a major wake-up call for them. They have learned a lot from this. I know I was a distraction from your pain. And you came closer to me than anyone. So some of you guys... I do feel like they're recognizing, so this is going to get a little deep for a second, but with this energy here, it does feel to me that they, this person is recognizing the pain that they cause you, especially this message is going to be for people who, um, you know, were hurt and betrayed by this person. They're thinking about that and they're thinking of the deeper reasons about why that that happened. Okay. With that energy here. And they know why they know that the thing that they're thinking about the most is why you stayed through all of that. Okay, why you still stayed with them even through the pain. That's something that's coming up. So we're going to pull some cards and see what actions this person is going to be taking towards you. Let's see what fell out. We got the Ace of Wands. So yeah, they're coming in with brand new energy with a renewed passion. That's the word that they gave me, renewed passion. Five of Pentacles. So they want a new beginning. They don't want to be left out in the cold from you anymore. page of wands so ready for a brand new beginning they're very attracted to you as well i feel like they spend a lot of time thinking about that um thinking about you in that way you know i'm um, like how good they had it they don't understand why they ever left in the first place um the sun card or why they messed things up in the first place the happiness five of wands in reverse so they're coming in they want to be happy they want to make you happy five of wands in reverse this is a card of cooperation of working together of getting along so that's what this person wants okay um, i do feel like you will be hearing from this person sooner rather than later it does really strongly feel to me that you know they are they're coming in with some serious energy they love you and they're really seeing what they had with you um they're seeing how good they had it and they can't believe they ever they ever messed this up 
So my loves, that is what I have for you. And if this resonates, please let me know in the comments down below. And if it doesn't, check out your other sign placements. Sometimes your moon rising in Venus can actually resonate more than your sun sign does. If you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. And my loves, if you hit the notification bell, then when we do our monthlies, mid-monthlies, weeklies, and bonuses, you guys can be notified and you can go check them out. Um, but most importantly, if you want personal prayers for any reason at all, you can put the prayer emoji in the comments down below and I will go through and I will pray for you. So I am sending so much love and so much light until next time.